Welcome back guys. Today I have, as you can see, 2007 Ford F-150. This truck's got a 4.6 on the rack and it won't start. Now I don't hear the fuel pump running on this truck and these trucks, before you deem the fuel pump bad, they have a fuel pump control module and it's not going to show up real well but we're looking through the driver's side rear fender well and right back here on the frame. I don't know. Let me see if I can get you in the right spot. Right back, oh, right about in there is where the module mounts. It's up above the spare tire. These things were notorious for getting dirt and crap packed in between them and the frame where they were mounted and corroding through. So, before I even, I could tell I, I don't hear the fuel pump running. So before I even bother trying to diagnose anything else, I'm going to check that out to make sure that doesn't isn't corroded through. Because what would happen is these things would corrode through on the back side and then they'd get moisture in them. Once they got moisture in them, they, they'd quit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to drop the spare tire. Alright guys, I'm going to drop the jacket and go to the first part of the battle here. Okay, now that we got it up in the air, there is the fuel pump control module, and that would be the problem. And you see it's corroded and it's actually broken in half. And this is not the first one I've seen like this. This is why I tell you, you can run a fuel pressure test and everything else, but the easiest diagnosis is get it up in the air, take a look at this, because you can see all the corrosion down in there. You can see how that's just, I mean, it's just broken. It's done. So. We're going to pull that out of there real quick, and before too long, I should have a new one. Now, just gently remove the electrical connector, and then a few 8 millimeters, and it'll come right off the frame. Gently try to remove what's left of it. As you can see, it's corroded completely through. There's, they get dirt packed in here, and this is more prevalent in areas where they use a lot of road salt or where there's gravel roads. But they get they get dirt and grime and road salt and crap up between the frame in the module and it just eats them up. Ah, you can see how stuck down that was. I mean this aluminum, it's an aluminum back and that aluminum is just gone. So, get my die grinder. I'm going to clean all this up real well and then I'm actually going to use some, uh, some of the aluminum base to silver anti-seize over top of all this before I put it back together and that should help to uh, keep corrosion to a minimum, hopefully. Now before you go to cleaning this up, make sure you put on a respirator. All that dirt, crap, and aluminum dust is not what you really want to breathe. Don't be afraid to use this stuff rather liberally. Get it down in all the holes where the bolts go. There's also a hole right here. This plug in's kind of in the way. Right there, where there's a uh, alignment stud on the control module that drops into that hole. So make sure you get that coated very well because you have an aluminum module and a steel cross member. And when you put two dissimilar metals together, they will, they will corrode naturally without 
any outside influence. So you definitely want to make sure that there's a good coating on there to help minimize that. Got the new fuel pump control module, part number 590-001. This is from Dorman. Uh, these actually come with a lifetime warranty, so it's really not a bad deal. Now, this comes in two different mounting configurations. And for the <coughs> for the mount where you're mounting it to the cross member, which is our application, you're going to use the two bolts and the two rubber bushings, rubber standoffs. So for this particular application, we're going to use the long bolt, then you slide the rubber isolator standoff over top of it, and you can see the gap that that's going to create, which will help. Now, try and keep from getting crap all over yourself. Now that you've coated this in anti-seize, we're going to get those started in the holes. And there we go. Let me go grab a 13. And we're just going to run them down. compress our little rubber isolators and everything's nice and snug. Then we'll put our plug our connector back in and we'll go give we'll go try and start it.